Hello, I'm Caitlin and I'm a physical therapist and a health promotion specialist for the Army Public Health Center. I wanted to reach out to our community today to talk about the importance of physical resilience. And today I have Yesenia, who is a member of our community who has tested positive for the coronavirus and is currently on isolation. Hello, Caitlin. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's been nine days since I tested positive. And actually, I'm feeling pretty good. And, and I'm excited to share my own personal experience with the leaders and the community out there. Well, I'm sure a lot of people are really excited to hear what your experience has been like. Speaking of that, what have your symptoms been since you were diagnosed with having that coronavirus? So initially, the first two days, I had some tickling in the throat, and then after that, and some soreness of throat, but then after that, it just followed with an extreme cough. I did not have a fever at all, but the cough and the, my chest was really tight, so I had, I had a difficult time breathing. So um, yeah, um, those were my initial symptoms, and really the most symptom that I had was the cough. What I did realize about four days ago, five days ago, is that I lost some sense of smell too. So yeah, but um, those were my, my symptoms. Very interesting. Well, today I wanted to talk about three important aspects that people should be thinking about with their health while they're on quarantine or isolation. Uh, we have nutrition, physical activity, and sleep. So I want to start with nutrition, because a lot of people are hyper-focused on just the caloric value of food, and they're not really looking at the nutrient base of what they're eating. So how has your diet changed with being on isolation? So basically, um, so I have not had to change any way of anything of my diet. So I've been able to maintain my healthy eating habits, um, but really thanks to the community who's been reaching out to me and asking me what I need and dropping it off at the door. So that's been awesome. But um, uh, I have been able to continue to eat like my fruit, my yogurt, and oatmeal for breakfast. Um, and also I've gotten a lot of avocados and I've been making like, such great use of them. Um, putting them on toast, uh, making an avocado dip, and using them in my salads. But, um, and my dinners have consisted of uh, things such as uh, baked stuffed zucchini, stuffed bell peppers, sweet potatoes, um, and pretty much like throughout the day I'll snack on carrots and celery, just with some type of dip. But um, yeah. Oh, and I'm so glad you're incorporating all those fruits and veggies in your diet because they can really help to boost your immune system. And there's another resource on APHC's website. It's called Meals in 15 Minutes or Less. It can just help other people meal plan healthy meals, and especially if they're on a tight budget for time. Yeah, you know, I feel like my nutrition habit has allowed me to recover a bit faster. I have more energy, and I've definitely felt a difference in how I feel when I eat healthy versus not. Especially during this time of recovery, I think it's important. Yeah, well, now I want to move on to my favorite topic, the importance of exercise. So, <laughs> so you can do resistance training to improve your muscle and bone strength and there's also cardio activities that you can do for improvement of muscle strength and endurance and your cardiovascular system. Breathing heavy too can also help bring like that gunk up and out from your lungs. Uh, so what have you been doing for exercise? So you know I especially care about the immune function of exercise. But I, I begin my day by just opening the doors and breathing fresh air, whether it's cold or hot. I mean, cold here and, and hasn't been lately. But um, I have a bike trainer here at home that I've been able to utilize. Um, and initially, I had a hard time um, breathing, so I could only ride up to like five miles. So I had a little bit of difficulty breathing. But um, I was able to maintain my daily routine, and I can ride a little bit longer now. Thanks to technology, I've also been able to conduct a routine exercise every day that um, there are so many applications out there that people can use that provide such great workouts. I completely agree. And I would also recommend community members looking at our Garrison's website for further resources on home programs. And APHC has an article called Homemade Fitness and it gives people some ideas of things that they can do at home without any equipment for exercise. As much as I would love to continue talking about exercise though, we'll move on to the importance of getting a good night's sleep. 
because this is the time our body has to focus and make repairs, do some maintenance. How's your sleep been? So honestly, my sleep has always been difficult. To, I've, been, I've always had a hard time sleeping, but um, it almost seems, probably because my mind's always on the go, but it almost seems like since I've been on quarantine, I've been able to get up to eight hours of sleep or even more. So prior to, prior to going to bed, I usually take a warm shower that relaxes me, and then I have this Calm app that I play that normally just puts me out completely. So um, what I found is that sleep has helped me get on my way to recovery. I think I can recover a little bit more faster, and in the morning I feel so much more refreshed. It's like in the morning I'm not dragging, so it's awesome. No, and I think those are some great tips that our community members can use to help get a good night's sleep. And I also just love like how positive you've been throughout this whole process. Because I think just having a positive attitude is really going to help with dealing with the stress of everything going on right now. I love seeing your Facebook videos of your journey with the coronavirus, and I look forward to seeing more. Thanks, Caitlin. Thanks for talking to me.